The locomotives have been designed to meet a number of important criteria. Among these are the portal to portal time of 35 minutes with a maximum operating speed of 130 km per hour while holding a load of 2400 tons. To achieve this level of performance and, at the same time, maximize the local track adhesion, six driven axles, configured in the arrangement bow bow bow, are provided on each 136 ton locomotive. Bow 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 is railway shorthand for three bogies with twin B independently driven O axles. This configuration is seldom used but in particular is operating elsewhere in Switzerland, New Zealand and Austria on steep mountain passes, thus demonstrating the capability for good adhesion and performance in curves. On January 20th, 1986, the governments of France and Great Britain finally signed a contract which launched the Eurotunnel project. This undertaking comprises the following components to be established. First, two identical train tunnels together with a service tunnel connecting the French and the British coast of the channel. Second, a terminal in Coquel and one in Foxton, each of which is fully equipped to supply any loading, unloading and maintenance needs. And third, the construction of specialized shuttle trains. The length of the train tunnel is 50.5 km. Its inside diameter measures 7.6 m. The inner walls of the three tunnels are equipped with prefabricated, reinforced concrete elements, each of which is weighing up to 8 tons. During construction, 500 of totally 250,000 elements have been installed per day. Each of the two terminals is designed to handle up to 20 trains per hour. It is divided into a passenger, car and bus handling area, a heavy goods section and a maintenance center. During construction work on the French terminal site, which totals an area of about 700 hectares, 12 million cubic meters of soil had to be moved. The joint responsibility for the traction units is taken by Azea Brown Bavaria Switzerland for electrical equipment, Brush Electrical Machines Great Britain for mechanical parts, Breda Fiat Italy for heavy goods railway carriages and the Bombardier Group for tourist wagons. Besides safety and reliability aspects, the wheel arrangement of the locos was an important factor in its design. Topographical constraints mean that shuttle trains approaching the British terminal must traverse a 280 meter radius, 180 degree loop to enter the loading and unloading platforms. With the locos negotiating this curve at 60 km per hour on every journey, Minimizing wheel and rail wear is a major consideration. The shuttle loco body is a conventional stressed skin monocoque structure. A single sheet of steel used for each body side skin is pre-tensioned to approximately 60 tons before the structural inner framework is welded on. The locos will normally operate in pairs with the inner ends coupled to the train. They are essentially single-ended, with a full cap on one side and a small cap shunting controls at the other. On each passenger shuttle, the operational staff will comprise a driver and a chef de train. The shuttle locos are equipped with consoles for each person. The driver will be in the leading loco and the chef de train at the rear. Under normal conditions, the driver will be responsible for the train movements with the chef de train in charge of loading and unloading and monitoring of the safety and communications system en route. The trains are designed to meet three specific emergency cases. First, 
in the event of one bogey of one loco in a shuttle pair being isolated, the train must be able to complete the journey to schedule. Second, where one loco has failed totally, the train must be able to restart from a standstill and leave the tunnel at reduced speed. And third, one shuttle train must be able to rescue another which has suffered a total power failure and hole or propel it out of the tunnel. The Czech Railway Research Institute Prague was founded in 1963. At that time, it was the first installation to offer standard gauge testing capabilities all over the world. In the summer of 1993, two Le Shuttle traction units have experienced detailed testing during some months. The focus of the experiments lied on the electrical equipment, the mechanical parts, the braking system and on some durability issues. Large-scale, real condition experiments are the sole key to success in the train industry. The Institute offers a complete infrastructure to fulfill about any test on rolling stock, railway construction elements and railway communication and signaling systems. The Railway Research Institute offers a 13.2 km round track allowing speeds up to 200 km per hour and a small track measuring 2.9 km designed for maneuvering and shunting trials. The electricity supply supports 11 MW of alternating current between 7.5 and 31 kV or 5 MW of direct current between 0 and 3900 V. To allow efficient and profitable testing, a maintenance plant, an office building, dormitories, a dynamical test bench and a specialized coach for measuring purposes are present. <laughs> 